friends, welcome to the Astrology More podcast. I'm your host, Courtney, and I wanted to do a quick video today on a uh, question, probably one of my most popular questions that I get asked, and it's a uh, extremely hot topic, if you know what I mean. And that question is, which astrology aspect or placing is responsible for creating an, a high sex drive or high sexual energy in a person? Um, a nymphomaniac placing, so to speak. And it's not just one placing that's going to, you know, set this off. There can be several factors going, in, you know, that into, uh, there can be several factors in astrology that creates, uh, you know, this, this hot, hot, high sex drive. And so when you're looking for a high sex drive, maybe you have an extremely high sex drive and you're wanting to uh, know why and you're wanting to, you know, shorten your search, know what to look for that, you know, in a chart that's going to help you, ma you know, match up with someone. Because the last thing you want to do is if you ha have an extremely high sex drive is get with someone who doesn't. So one of the, you know, right out, right out of the gate, like probably one of the strongest aspects that creates this nymphomaniac placing is going to be Venus and Mars in conjunction or in the same sign. Now, why does this affect the sex drive? Why does it amp up those um, juices, so to speak. And the reason is, is because Venus is the planet of love. Mars is the planet of sex. Now, it's not that simple because Venus in a woman's chart is the way she expresses her femininity. And Venus in a man's chart is, is his, uh, you know, ideal woman. And Mars in a woman's chart, it, it's, it's her expression of sex. And it's also her ideal man. So it, Mars at a man's chart is his expression of his masculinity. So when these two planets are in the same sign, it creates this insatiable appetite, this high sex drive. Because basically what happens is, um, it, it, you know, that the love and the, the, sex, the, the love expression and the sexual um, desire, sexual energy the wires are kind of blended. So a person oftentimes with this placing um, doesn't feel love unless they're in the act of sex itself. So this, you know, this could create a, a energy of more, more, more in the sex department. So the last thing you want to do is get with someone who doesn't match that energy, who doesn't know the importance of sex for a person who has Venus and Mars in conjunction. Now, this isn't the only placing that, uh, you know, that creates a high sex drive. Moon conjunct Mars in a person's chart or moon and Mars in the same sign or the same house is going to create a high sex drive. So if you have, and why is that? And, and that's because the moon is your subconscious. It's the natural wavelength that you're on. It's what drives a person. It's their emotional energy, their emotional nature their emotional expression. And of course, Mars is the planet of, of sex. And so when you have these planets in the same sign or the same house in a conjunction, um, there is a subconscious like drive always for, you know, an, an insatiable appetite for sex. So that that's another aspect. Um, Mars being in the eighth house is going to create an extremely uh, high need for sex. Now, if you are a person with these placings, I want you to do a little shadow work and a little, you know, uh, questioning of yourself. If you don't have an outlet for sex, like if you don't have, a, you know, a consistent, you know, partner, and you don't have this release, have you noticed that there's a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, a lot of, you know, just road rage, snapping out, wilding out, maybe you haven't connected the two that, you know, you need more of a sexual release than the average person. Now, another placing that is going to create a high, um, you know, sex drive, a high need for, you know, a, a stronger need for sexual release and sexual connection is going to be Venus or Mars in Scorpio. Um, and that's because Scorpio is the sign that rules sex itself. So these people need have a, a higher, you know, need and desire for sex and, you know, think about it all the time. Um, so if you have 
uh, as the, you know, as Scorpio itself, sun, moon, or ascendant. Moon in Scorpio is really driven, needing needing to connect sexually with an intimate partner, needing that release. So you're going to notice when you have these aspects and these placings in your chart, if you don't have this sexual release, you're going to be grumpy. You're going to be grouchy. You're going to be irritable. You're going to be road raging. Um, so another uh, placing is going to be Venus or Mars conjunct Pluto or in the same uh, house, and Mars and Pluto, Venus and Pluto in the same house. This is a stronger need for, uh, you know, you need this, this stimulation, this intimacy, this connection, this release. And you will find that if you, uh, you know, having this release, you're going to find if you start, you know, noticing your patterns of behavior, you're going to find that, you know, you're, you feel a lot more alive. You're not as grouchy. Your vibration isn't as low. Um, so I do want to encourage you, if you don't have a partner, take things matters in your own hand, if you know what I mean, um, and and really evaluate yourself and see, you know, are you, do you have the type of outlet that you need to release this pent up energy? Because when you have these placings, everything is like energy. And when you have these placings uh, in your chart and you don't have an outlet, it's going to come out, at, you know, in toxic ways. And, and, and grumpy and grouchy ways. So do a little shadow work, do a little self-evaluation and figure out how, you know, the link in this in your chart, because I want to see you find happiness, find success and raise your vibration. And when you have, like I said, when you have this, these, this setup in your chart and you don't have an outlet, your vibration is lower. You don't, you know, fulfill your dreams. You don't, you know, you, you don't have, it, you know, you kind of get bogged down in heavy energy. So definitely uh, see if you have these placings. If you do, if you're single, if you're wanting to find your match, you're going to want to want, you're go going to want to look for someone um, that has some of these aspects and these higher, you know, sexual energy, sexual drive placings in their chart. Also, Mars and Aries. Venus and Aries, the Aries energy itself, Aries on the eighth house cusp, also Scorpio on the eighth house cusp. Um, these are going to be high sexual energy placings as well. And that's because Mars is the planetary ruler of the zodiac sign of Aries. So, you know, Mars ruling sex, Aries is a very sexual, sexually driven sign, needs a big, needs that release, needs a lot of, uh, you know, sexual uh, you know, connection and things like that to release that pin up energy that can happen. And at bare minimum, if you're a person that might be celibate, you might be, you know, taking a break from it all. You definitely want to have a physical outlet because like I said, this is energy. You want to get that energy out of your system. You're thinking it'll be clearer. So you definitely want to work out every day and, and realize this is, this is, you know, releasing that pin up energy. So that way, you're happier and the people in your life, in your, you know, your lives are happier, your family, your friends, and, you know, you can move through life not as weighted down and not as grumpy and you don't pose a danger to, uh, you know, people driving in your vicinity, you know, maybe they're zoned out um, in the slow, in the fast lane, driving a little too slow. That way you're not raging out and, and, <laughs> And, you know, make it, you having this release, whether it be through sexual connection or through having a physical outlet to work this off, it makes the world a better place. It makes you happier. I hope you all like this, enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day and I will see you later.